Hey campers! Today we have been discovering how to truly live outside the box. Say that with me. You ready? Live outside the box. So today I have the perfect guy to talk with us about living outside. He is the true wilderness man. It is none other than John the Baptist. Let's welcome kids, John the Baptist. Hello, John. Huh? Will you say oh. hello to our kids? Hello. Hi. Well, today we thought it would be the perfect time to interview and ask you a few questions. Oh, okay. Yes. We are learning how to live outside of the box and you live, well, outside. So we want to ask you some questions. Is that okay? Yes. Sure. Okay. Yeah, okay. Okay. So speaking of the outdoors, living outside, um, most people enjoy s'mores, right kids, or roasting hot dogs over the campfire. So we would like to know what is your favorite outdoor snack? Um, I like um, beans, uh, okay. uh, berries. Ooh, but best of all, locusts with honey. Mm. That's very outside side of the box. Very unique. I'm not sure I've ever heard of anybody eating that at a uh, campfire, but okay. Um, you know, we're outside, John. And so I read in the Bible where you spent a great bit of your time out in the wilderness. Tell us about that. Well, when I was uh, just little boy, no, even just before I was born, an angel appeared to my father and told him I would have many important things to do in life, that I would be very important to God. So I spent my early life in the wilderness seeking this. Okay, once again, very unusual, very outside the box. Yeah. Um, so, with the wilderness, what did you do in your time in the wilderness? <sighs> I, I spent much time praying. That's good. I, I talked to God. As, as I grew up in the wilderness, the, the wilderness grew within me, and I knew I must seek Him to find out what my important job was that he had for me. And I learned what that was. Okay. I waited a long time. Uh, okay, well, you know, we, we experienced those kind of things. Now that's a little bit more unusual. Again, outside the box, not the norm. But I'm curious, what is that important job that God called you to? Oh. Well, he called me to prepare the way for the Messiah. Prepare ye the way of the Lord. I was to let people know that he was coming and to preach about him, of his greatness, and to baptize them when they were ready to accept him. Ah, baptizing. That must be how you got your name, John the Baptist. Oh, yes. I love to baptize. Oh, that the look on people's faces when they come out of the water, knowing they have been changed. Yes. Oh, I love it. Have, have you been baptized? Would you like to be baptized right now? Um, 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 uh, I've actually been baptized, yes. Um, so uh, I, I'm, 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 I will go now and 
to the lake and be ready to baptize you if you want to. As uh, I think I saw some others to be baptized right now. Oh, 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 oh well, uh, okay. So the perfect guy to share with us on how to live outside the box in today's campfire story, guys. Wow, unique character, right? Yes, so that was a great way to talk about how God has not just called someone like John the Baptist to live their life outside the box, but he has called you and I to live outside the box. Say that with me one more time. Live outside the box. Now, how do we live outside the box? That's our next question. And I have three things for you to help you discover how, like John the Baptist, we are to live out our life. So number one is to accept it. Repeat after me, accept it. Great job, guys. Number two, we have to seek it. Repeat after me, seek it. Awesome. And third, we have to live it. Say that with me, live it. So like I just said, there's accept it, seek it, and live it. That is how we are able to live our lives outside the box. Guys, we don't only have to accept Jesus into our heart, but when we accept him into our heart, we are saying yes to what he has called us to. Just as John did, he accepted the mission to go and prepare the way. God has called you and I to go, to go and preach. Guys, like John the Baptist, that's not gonna look normal. There's even gonna be people that say we're crazy because God calls us to live outside the ordinary. We are to be apart from the world, but we have to accept that. We have to, like John say, God, I will go. I accept what you have for me and you have called me to go and share your love and share your gospel. Number two, we have to seek it. You know, John, he had to go out in the wilderness to get alone from the noise of the town, the noise of the life that he had around him. He had to go and seek that one-on-one -on -one time with God. I don't know about you kids, but during this quarantine time, we've been alone more so than the usual. This has been the perfect time to get alone with God, reading our Bible, praying, and like John said, waiting, listening. We have to listen to God, not only talking to Him, but we have to have our ears and our hearts open to hear what He has for us, just as He did John while John was in the wilderness. You know, the wilderness can sometimes seem scary because we don't really know what may happen and what may come. However, we trust God because we know in the wilderness we're learning and we're growing just as John did because he knew God had something important for him. We find the truth that God has something important for you and I. And third, this is the big one, we live it outside the box. God has called us kids to go outside the normal. You know, in that story, the world would have said, well, John was really awesome guy and he could have easily been like, oh, these people think that I'm the guy that's coming to bring hope and I'm the one that's coming to, to show them the way, no. Each time John continued to point them to Christ, the true Messiah. So each day we are to do the same. All that we do should point to Jesus. Let our actions live outside. Let our words go outside the norm. Let our thoughts 
be outside the norm. We are to set ourselves. You know, our scripture that we're talking about says, do not conform to the world, but be transformed in order to truly live out our lives to shine the love and the goodness of God. We have to have our minds transformed by Him and His Spirit, just as John did. And you know, John was able to share the love of Christ with so many. So many lives were transformed by him being obedient. He did those three things. He accepted it, he seeked it, and he lived it out. You know, scripture tells us that he was the one in the wilderness crying out, prepare the way of the Lord. We're gonna be the one there's going to be times where we feel like we're the only one. But you know what? God is on our side. God is on our side and He has called us to go and to share the gospel. All we have to do is accept it, trust in Him, and each day live outside the box. So kids, I want you to stand up where you are. And we're going to pray. We're going to ask God to truly help us transform our minds so that we don't become like the world, but that we live outside the box each day. So bow your heads, close your eyes. Let's pray. Jesus, we just first and foremost want to say that we love you. We thank you for these children. We thank you for their families. But God, we also want to take this time to say that we accept what you have for us. But God, maybe, maybe we're experiencing that wilderness, that time where we're alone. Maybe we're waiting. We're in that period where we know that you have great things for us, but we're not yet sure what all of that means. So we're asking you today to Remind us that you have called us to help us, to encourage us, to send the right people in our way, to get alongside us and encourage us in the calling that you've placed on our lives. And God, help us know that we need to spend time with you in our word, in our prayer time, that we need to be with you just as John was with you to learn so that he could prepare the way for the Messiah. God, we love you and we just thank you for what you're doing in our lives. It's the first day of camp and we know that you have so much more in store for us this week. So let us live our lives outside and it's in your name we pray, amen and amen. Okay, so what is our challenge today? It is to live outside the box. And what fun can we have than game time? So I think there's a game in store for you. Let's see. Love you kids.